everyone to the ultimate trading webinar for beginners. My name is Daniel and I will be giving you the webinar today. Before we will begin, as always, there is a quick check that we must go through with the visibility on, of the chart and of course the sound, that the sound is in the proper level. So please find the question section at the bottom of your screen, or maybe it's to the left. But as you can see, there is a question section there and you can comment that the sound is okay for you, then I'll know that if for several people the sound is okay, then I can carry on. Thank you, Rowena, Paul, excellent, excellent. Okay, Steven, great, great. And the, the chart, the, the chart here, there is a lovely chart here, Lionel, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Let's, let's then, uh, let's begin, okay. So, <clears throat> As I was saying, my name is Danny. This is the uh, ultimate trading webinar for beginners. What we're going to do, just a second, I want to make sure that we are in the. Yes, this is the web trader. Okay, this is, guys, the web trader. Um, to log into the web trader, you don't have to download anything or to do anything. But before we get into that, let me just explain how the webinar is going to happen. So, first, We'll have a quick introduction to AvaTrade, what we're offering in our uh, website and platform and other services that we have. Then on the second part, we'll have a bit more uh, practical part when we'll go through and cover the basic essentials uh, for trading, okay? The basics for beginners. And lastly, analysis, okay? But that's a bonus, only if time will allow us and we're going to cover everything that we're supposed to in the time that we received. Okay. And it's very important to know that any capital markets and trading information disclosed in this webinar is provided for informative purposes only. It should not be constructed or applied as an investment advice recommendation or a suggestion. So, guys, if you have missed a part or some things that I have explained needs to be explained again, you can find the recording uh, in our YouTube channel. So that means that this webinar is obviously recorded and that the recorded the recording should be uploaded uh, in the next roughly day or two. Okay, hopefully today, but no guarantees. Okay, so I'll make sure that the webinar is recorded, just as I said, and then I'll be back and we will begin. So I'll be right back. Thank you very much. Excellent. So it seems like everything is in place. We're just going to find ourselves a decent asset to begin with. But first, let's go through the introduction. Just a moment. I would like us to have a, a place for me to write down some things. Just a second. Okay. It's supposed to be here somewhere. There we go. I guess this is what we are looking for. <laughs> okay. So, oh, we have even two of them, apparently. Very nice. So, like I said, this is the Ultimate Trading Webinar uh, for Beginners. My name is Danny, and we are now officially starting the webinar. So, as you know, we are a regulated company. We have nine licenses uh, worldwide. We exist in, since 2006. Okay. We have the customer service here at the bottom left. You can access through the button here uh, to chat, chat with us or the WhatsApp, whatever you prefer. And you can, how many of them did we get? Okay. So you can contact the customer service through the button here at, at the left bottom uh, corner, or you can send them an email to cs at avatray.com. Okay, that's everything's related to, to the customer service, your account documentations, uh, verifications, what, what else? Everything you can think about basically for customer care, customer service. And for trading purposes, for trading queries, you have a senior account manager. This is responsible to give you service from those suspects. 
uh, calculations and a plan and a strategy. Although things, uh, even things that we're going to cover with today, as an example, logic of certain decisions, analysis, basically, again, everything that's related to trading, to be honest. Okay, the service that we give, it doesn't cost anything. The seniors, the account managers are uh, providing you with assistance, so use it. It's something that in other companies cost a few hundred dollars, uh, if not a thousand every month. Okay, so we're going to carry on with what I said a minute ago about uh, the, this unique, uh, unique platform that we're using, which is called the Web Trader. web trader or the avogo it looks very much alike with the phone version and the uh, desktop version if only you tilt you tilt your device on the side it looks almost the same um and as i've mentioned you don't really need to download anything or to install anything it's just embedded in the website for your convenience once you're logged into the website you're going to see that okay and if you don't you should contact either your senior account manager or your customer service, and they'll fix it for you. Okay, beside the web trader, we also have the MetaTrader 4 and 5, which is a little more advanced version, but I'm still with the MT4, if you're asking me. Okay, the MT4 and the web trader are an amazing combination, to my opinion, unless you're uh, diversifying quite aggressively, and then uh, MT5 can come very handy. Um, all right, so we're going to, first of all, let me just add two more platforms, which are a bit different. They're not really the same as I have I've mentioned till this point. Uh, we have our social and our options, OK? The idea behind behind those two, one of them have options, as you know, uh, options trading means that I'm buying or selling the opportunity for a price which I can actualize in a later stage, or when reaching a certain price. Never mind. I don't wanna I don't wanna explain about options too far. I'm just gonna say that the app is amazing and you should uh, definitely try it. And the other social is uh, more social media kind of platform you can follow other traders uh, if you're still in your early stages actually no actually it's not only for beginners to be honest everybody who wants to uh, educate themselves with absorbing somebody else's strategy can can definitely enjoy Ava social uh, if you have your own strategy and you would like to provide others so Ava social can be an amazing solution as well um you can copy somebody else not just follow if you follow so you get what your uh, traders is doing and you can decide whether you want to do it or not and if you copy somebody it's very well presented through lists and and performances you can just pick somebody and copy him and of course if he is succeeding you can enjoy the same succe uh, su success as he is um the app is completely uh, you can download it completely for free i highly recommend uh, to try okay now the web trader in difference from the mt4 and mt5 is uh, there are several differences which i'm going to cover one by one maybe not too thoroughly at this stage but just as an idea so uh, here you've, you've got the news section, right? If I'll go all the way to the left, you have a nice uh, seven, I think, icons here. One of them is news. Uh, and in news, you can filter what, what what's more relevant for you. Uh, Euro USD, you see there are some news here. Um, this is, sorry, th this one was, this one was the general one. This is one, one was for the Forex. Uh, but I can also choose stocks as an example and some other things very nicely. Uh, signals, right, provided by the uh, trading central company. Uh, this can come very handy. Sometimes if I do it through here, it takes time to load, which uh, we don't got any time to waste. So I can do it specifically through the 
the uh, list. So here I get all the signals which I can pick from what is available at the moment, which obviously it takes time a bit. And in here, I can pick the signals from the list. Okay, and I can also see what has a signal and, and what, what not by this lightning uh, blue icon, right? Uh, question by Emo, please, is the trading recorded and will be shared? Absolutely. Absolutely, Emo. As, as I've explained in the beginning, this webinar is recorded. It will be uploaded to YouTube later on. And I believe with God will, we're going to have it on YouTube. You have the uh, the function to uh, translate. So if there are certain things that needs to be explained again, you can definitely see it for your convenience. Now, uh, as I was explaining about the signals, so the signals are marked with a light with the lightning icon, if I click it, watch what happens. So when difference from the news section, the news section are a fundamental analysis. They're giving us the inputs from outside the market and the signals are from inside the market. That means that the analysis presented here is based on the charts. Okay, we have some nice key ingredients here, pivot points, uh, support and resistance, different deviations on levels. Yeah, very, very interesting. Okay, uh, yeah, so we have this, we have uh, that, we've already covered, and we have the economic calendar, right? This is just a beautiful addition that we already have in the facility, so I suggest uh, you'll use it. So to get to the economic calendar, all I did, to be honest, is this... Just I went all the way down. You see, we have the we actually be, begin here, but never mind. So we have the signals, the news, and then discovery is at the bottom. Uh, then economic calendar. If I'm looking for something particular, I can. I don't know if you saw. Maybe I've done it too fast. See, there is a megalify here. There's a question mark, and there is the megalify here. And if I click it, it let me search. Let's go with. Um, CPI as an example. Okay, yeah, so that's it's gonna find all kind of things. Let me go with the last non-farming payroll that we had no still no you see sometimes i need to be very specific with the name of the article let's go with none yeah yeah for summary oh you see the problem is let me just tell you the problem is that for me it was already uh, filtered it was already filtered you see when there is a flag i have all kind of i'm, I'm just gonna notch on a nutshell I'm, I'm just gonna explain about the economic calendar you saw i i i searched a, a bunch of things but it didn't find anything and the reason is because it's marked on uk right and what i should have maybe i should have marked everything i could have just marked everything or i can demark everything and then go with only the countries that i want uh, this way right yeah there we go and then you see, there we go. Now it makes sense to the system, and it gives me the, uh, the the important things. You see, this this one is the one that we had last Friday. But keep in mind, if it doesn't if it doesn't make sense, you gotta check your filters here, because if you're filtered for something else, it's it's not gonna find your event. Uh, and when it when it does, you can like I said, you can get all kind of information. You see, there is. The, uh, the date here, this one already occurred, but never mind. As long as you understand the idea, that's what's important. This is the next, I believe. Okay, okay, okay. Let's carry on. Uh, questions so far? Questions, guys, questions so far, even though we're just in a, in a, in a guide through, but still. 
what is the nun for me peril oh thank you simon so simon is asking um and with with, with a with a good reason uh non farming payroll is the uh it, all the new jobs that is, is applied you see what it's written here all the new jobs but in my personal interpretation just quickly all the new jobs beside agriculture and uh jobs okay so that means farmers and so on okay right so this is more or less the differences i'm going to show you just a little let's see if we've got time excellent so i'm just going to explain to you about our protect which is another product that we have here let's go with euro usd just as an example yeah so one of the product that we have is called our protect now i'm going to click it I'm just i'm going to show you how it works okay our protect lets you protect the position position for a certain time frame okay and whatever you lost during the coverage you will get back amazing now there is a fee by the way okay there is a fee when using the product okay now in other words in other words when i'm going to click here on the shield or here at the box see i click at the box uh it's going to show me the time that i can pick you see what i wrote here let me choose the time so if i choose the time you see there is a fee here uh 16.8 now the more i will increase the time left the more my coverage will increase so now i'm covered for one hour now three hours now six hours one day two days right you saw you saw what happened in between the fee here didn't stay 16 you see 23 20 uh, 40 uh, 56 68 right so the more i'll cover the higher i'll pay right does this make sense now as long as i enjoy the product uh i must pay the fee if i don't use the product there is no fee right look how simple with a fee without a fee right and apparently it stays on what I wanted, which is great. Um, regarding the fee, just one more thing. Notice that when I increase the time, it increased as well. But if I increase the load size, it also increase the fee. Okay. Or if I reduce, so vice versa. Right. If it makes sense. So uh, let's look at your USD just on a nutshell just on a nutshell so it will be easier for us to 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 understand what's happening here uh when i'm buying something my intention is that assets will be higher right let's suppose that my target now is with a buy and i'm aiming for just a second let's suppose that i'm aiming for um 10 pips higher let's go 400 pips higher just a second okay and in here we're gonna go for 100 pip 100 pips lower so that's it should be just a second where did we place it oh wait so this is here somewhere and in here that's going to be here somewhere maybe a little lower than that there we go right okay uh let's paint this one in green let's paint that one in red okay and now what can happen in this scenario is very simple so if it goes up to the green line if it goes up to something called take profit what is take profit 
take profit is going to stop my position with the profit. Just going to close it automatically. Okay, stop loss does the same thing. If it goes down and I'm losing money, it's going to stop me from losing any farther. The reason that I'm using those th two things now, guys, is to show you the potential outcome which I can compare with my fee. Now, why would I want to do that? Anybody has any idea why would I want to make this comparison before taking the position? In the meantime, let me just put down here the scenarios. Please do it one more time. I will, I will. Uh, Mr. Uh, Avi Ray, no problem. Lionel to see if the cost for risk is worth it. Oh, well done. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. Who did I reply to? Oh, sorry. For you, Lionel, yeah. Exactly, because I don't want to I don't want to use the service for an amount that is uh, lower than the fee. I don't want to. In, in, in other words, I don't want to. I don't want to pay a fee higher than my profit or than my loss. Otherwise, I wouldn't just use the product and that's it. Uh, yeah. So in this scenario, profit is approximately a hundred, maybe a little more than that. Okay, and the fee here is 27, um, pretty decent comparison. I wouldn't say it's the best in the world, but it's not bad. I mean, making 100, paying 27 is not bad. Is it default to the selected currency I trade in? Uh, please elaborate if you can. I just don't understand exactly what do you mean by that, but if you can explain loss, fee, and loss returned. Right, so we have here the uh, potential loss. Again, 27. I'm sure that everybody here would have been happy to pay 27 and to get back 100, right? Probably, again, probably. Retroactively for sure. Okay. There we go. So this is how you're going to see it. You're going to see it separately. And now I see fees and dollars, but I trade from South Africa and rents. Um, this is an excellent question, and I have tendency to believe that it's the way... Uh, yes, that, that it will be adjusted to your currency, but no guarantees. Just try, try and click it, click it on your interface. See if it presented the fee in dollars or in rents. Otherwise, it should show you the conversion. It should show you from uh, from dollars. It should show you. I don't know how much the czar is now, but to show you a, a a reasonable number. Okay, guys, do we have any questions about? that or anything that I have explained so far. Any questions in general before we proceed? Because the next uh, the next uh, step is the second part, which I have explained that will be much more practical. Do we have any questions? Maria, uh, good question. This is for uh, uh, Forex, gold and silver. Forex, gold, um, and silver. Okay. Uh, I, IMO or IMO, if you can elaborate your question, that will be amazing. Guys, we're going to carry on at uh, with the webinar. Uh, question from Monain. How do you link your... Of a social to your Ava Trade account. Um, look, it should be it should be there on the app. It should be there on the app with a nice guide and and uh, uh, a document that you need to to uh, to fill. 
but I don't know exactly how to describe it from, you know, in my head. So just try and download the app. If you can't see the guy there, go to the live chat. You see, I've explained it. Oh, I deleted it. Never mind. Go here. You see, there is the live chat. And just ask them this question, and they will refer you to your account manager, and it will assist you with linking your account. How do you trade on the platform, the trading platform? Oh, of course, that's exactly what I'm doing now. It's exactly what I'm doing. We've reached the business. I don't know if we should carry on with Euro USD or something physical. Let's go with something physical. Let's go with commodities agriculture and how is planning them doing these days oh it seems like it's interesting when did we do that okay um yeah so as you can see we've picked platinum from the list apparently is part of agriculture but let me tell you a secret it is a metal same goes for palladium uh a precious metal okay now what we're going to do is we'll have a guide through about the toolbar and then we will start uh, picking up the pace. We're going to go to the right, starting from the search bar. Okay, let's put the name of our asset, Platinum, right here. Okay. Now, if I go to the right, we have the time frames, time frames such as weeks or days or, or hours. How can I confirm that those are indeed days? Let me just show you a nice trick. See here, I have candles in line. What is the difference? Anybody knows that this is a very, very important uh, mystery that not a lot of people are familiar with. Why did we switch from lines to candles? Okay, anybody knows? What is the difference? Okay, but if I keep going to the right, we have an arrow here. What is this arrow? And then I change from no crosshair to crosshair. See, I have a cross across my hand. Um, and then I can confirm. You see, now I switched switched from weeks to days. Oh, sorry, that's hours. See, and then every candle here is a day. You see, this is, is an example that went a fifth. This is the 24th. Oh, it's not going to let us see that. So 25th, 24th, 23rd, 21st. Sorry, right here. You see, there is a difference. There is a difference. Every candle is a day. When it's weeks, we have seven days difference in between. See? See here how it's changing? Left upper corner. Right? If I keep going to the right, we have the split chart. We can have platinum and uh, something else. Let's say gold. It's another safe. It's a safe haven. I would like to compare why my uh, my, my charts. You see, is an example. I'm, I'm not sure we can find too much similarity, but there is some. Okay, and then I can bring it back to a single. Uh, here I have the indicators. We're going to add one very soon. And what else? All the nice lines that I've placed for support and resistance. Okay, as an example, I can leave here a note if I want. Sometimes it will disappear. <laughs> okay. And yeah, so we're going to just carry on. Okay. And the toolbar that we saw to the right is only if I click sell or buy. Keep in mind, you're going to look for some assets sometimes, and it's not going to show you the sidebar. So if you click sell or buy, it's going to show you the sidebar. You see, if I click buy, it does the same thing. Then I have all kind of things. Here on the second tab, I have the, uh, and there is a question here from Nail. Nail. Hi, I'm Nael. Will you also teach how to profit or generate income from the bear market from this webinar? Um, could be, yes, yes. My intention, uh, Nael, is to teach you how to understand trading and not how to make profits. 
but it's a fruit that comes out of understanding. When you understand better how it works and you understand how to compose a position that makes sense, then analysis and risk money management and so on and so on. So I guess maybe as an outcome of what I'm teaching, you'll know how to make profits from beer market. Okay, and thank you for the lovely question, by the way. Now, we have covered, I believe, the guide through, which is amazing. And now we can carry on with our business. We have platinum on the line. We're going to use the four ingredients approach, as many of you know. We'll have the four ingredients down right here. The first one is the goal. Second one is time. Third one, who knows what's the third one, guys? Okay, so let me ask you a question, then it would make sense. Let's suppose that I think from all those red candles, this is a cell. Okay, and my target is somewhere here. Okay. Okay, let's suppose that this is my target. Guys, uh, we said take profit is what? Take profit is a pending order. It's a pending order. Take profit is a pending order. When it reaches a certain level, it's going to close the position with the profit. So if I'm buying, my take profit can never can never be lower. Why? Maybe if I'm doing okay, never mind. I don't want to get into that. Uh, when I'm buying, my take profit will be higher. When I'm selling, it will be lower. Okay. Let's suppose that this is my destined price. Okay. Okay. So this is my target price, and in this target price, let's suppose that I aim for a 9.23 to become 8.90. Is that a good price to aim for? Is 8.90 a good price to close my position? Let's suppose that I took a sell, I got lucky, and it went down. Okay, do you think that it can get to 8.90? Guys, look where it's at right now. Look where 890 is at. Is that possible that the market will flinch down this much? Will go down this much? What do you think? Look at the gap. Is it is is this uh, realistic or not? It's possible. Okay. Thank you, Lionel for your positivity. Who else? Is this possible, guys, that 9.23 will become 8.90? No, the gap is too much. Okay, thank you, Avi, for being realistic. Uh, what, what do you think? Is, is that possible or is it too far? What do you think? Depends on the time. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Frank. Okay, so what, what does that mean now? When I'm looking at the market and I'm analyzing the market, I think what is the best price to enter and what is the best price to close. So for instance, if I took a sell and I'm making money and platinum is going down, I'll never know when to close the position unless I have a target, unless I have a number, unless I have some indication of where I am aiming. Otherwise, I could just keep it open and that's it. But it doesn't work this way usually because then you can't do something called risk money management. Now, when I'm looking at the position, 9.23 seems like a good price to sell, just as an example, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six candles going down. Those are what we call bearish, uh, bearish uh, candles, right? Nail, I hope that you are looking good at what I'm explaining now. So those are negative candles. It means that it could be a possible downtrend. Now, when I'm looking at the chart, I need to know what price I'm expecting for to see if my position can be sustained across that price. Meaning, if I'm expecting this to happen in a uh, one hour, okay, let me just 
clarify something. The last time that it's been on that price was uh, three weeks ago. Do you think that it can go down in an hour to that price? Do you believe, do you think that uh, Platinum can move? Can move from 9.23 to 8.90 in an hour, right? Last time that it's been there was 17th of August. Actually, it's more than a week. It's, it's more than two weeks. I think it's around three weeks, give or take, give or take. Not really. Okay, I completely understand you, Stephen. Why not really? Lionel as well. Why not really? Why can't it happen in an hour? Because statistically, maybe it can, but again, statistically on average, it's not an average movement. Now, what is an average movement? We have an indicator called ATR. We're going to go here to FX indicators. We're going to apply the ATR. See, I wrote down AV, then we have ATR. I'm just going to click it to the box here, and then I'm click save. And, I, and then I can see it at the bottom, right? See here, 15.137. So that means that this is the range of what can, it can happen in a day. Now, we're going to stay the target. The target in our case will be $1,000, just as an example. Okay? And the time lapse could be, could be one week, as an example. And in here, of course, that will be movements or PAM, potential average movement. Okay, the difference is between the uh, range to the realistic, right? Because this could be the best case scenario, which there is no guarantee will, will, will happen as we expect. We can think this is a sell and we are waiting for 15 and yeah, but the market doesn't, comply to what we want, it does what it does. This is why we must acknowledge the range as a, as a range and not as a guarantee, which can happen otherwise. Now, and this is the potential average movement is a realistic view that I'm looking at. Okay, now, if I'm looking at the movements and I think that this can happen in a, uh, in a day, right? Because we, we are on days. Watch what happens if I change to a week. Okay, 53. $53 in a week, guys. Now, let me ask you, what do you think, what do you think that is a good movement to expect platinum platinum to make in a week tell me guys look at the numbers here this is is very very uh accessible right 53 is the average we are now at 922 what do you what do you think is a is a good movement to expect platinum to make in a week Two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, okay. Let me just demonstrate. Where is two hundred and fifty dollars? Two hundred and fifty dollars down will be approximately. This is two ninety, so this is somewhere here, right? I'm just doing it in my head, but still. Just to show you, Lionel, just to show you. Okay, so you will see where is $250 at. 890 minus 250, 640, yeah. So the last time that it's been there was three years ago, more, almost four. No, I don't want to say four. Never mind, never mind. You see how far back then? If this can happen in an hour, uh, in a week, sorry, if this will happen in a week, we probably have a catastrophe in the world. Probably. Okay. Somebody else want to give it a shot? How much can plan on a move, guys, in a week? This is, the range is, the range is 53. 
Uh, platinum relatively stable commodity so not volatile we have guys we have the number here you don't have to struggle uh, Milton high entered later what is the start amount recommended to trade Ooh. Milton you've landed a question bigger than a bomb unfortunately my dear I don't have the time to answer you now but you can join us tomorrow for the live Q&A and I will we'll discuss this. I guess um, it, it will be more appropriate. Right now we're in the middle of raining fire. So what will be a good moment? Now, if I expect 53, when was the last time that it's been on 53, uh, uh, $53 down? $53 is, let's look together. 923 minus 53, 870. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a week ago, maybe more than that. What if I aim for something uh, more humble, like $20? $20 is somewhere here, right? Maybe even less. Let's say 10, right? $10, is that okay? Yeah, definitely. We'll aim for 10. Okay, just as an example, or maybe 20. Let's keep it 20. Okay. Right. So we took the ATR, we took the average, we cut it by half, maybe a bit more than half, and now we're expecting $20. Is this realistic? I don't know. We're going to find out soon. Okay. How much... Platinum must we sell to make $1,000 with $20 difference per unit? Whoever gets this right is uh, have made progress in this webinar. Okay, how much platinum must we sell, guys? I'll help you out here. Okay, it's always gold divided by movements equals units in gold divided by units equals movements. Or right. So how much is that guys? Who has a calculator? Okay, every person who answered 50 is Correct. Well done. Okay. Good job, Evie and Freddie. Excellent. And Rachel. Great, great, great. Okay. Let's put down 50 and exam, examine our, our theory. So we're going to first place the, the target price here at the take profit. This is where we want to close the position. Here we're going to put 50 amount lot and in here we'll have the stop loss we haven't got it there yet but we're getting in a, in a second we'll make it we'll make it the same laugh just the other way around but we're going to paint it in red this one should be eh, never mind let's keep it this way 943 9 43.3 yeah All right keeps on moving keeps on moving let's increase it a bit to have a right high uh, a more precise number still hasn't done that it's extremely weird oh there we go yeah so so when we're looking here at the position, it seems like everything makes sense. I have placed a hypothetical stop loss. Okay, we have take profit stop loss. And the take profit ratio, we're in line 903 from a 923. So that means 1.1 thousand profit, potential profit, and the loss. Uh, 940, sorry, should have been here. J 
Just keep on moving and play with this. Okay, this can be interpreted to a thousand dollars loss. Now, now, okay. So there are two more things that should help us secure this position because as we said, guys, I'm gonna repeat that as many times as you, we, as you need. The market will not comply to what you want. The market will always do what it does, okay? Therefore, when you're aiming for the best case scenario, keep in mind, uh, keep in mind that if you do only that, you're exposed. Now, there is something called risk money management. Okay, which is, who can tell me what is risk money management? Okay, so the risk money management is basically to manage your account in a way that if you took a position like this one, you don't want to wipe out the account if, God forbid, it goes against you, right? If, God forbid, my stop loss would have been here, okay? Just as an example, and I have two positions like this, my account goes bye-bye, right? Or if, God forbid, my position would have been like that, and then I wouldn't even make it halfway. I would have been wiped way before. So the risk money management is something we must comprehend as part of our trading. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to see an example how to maneuver with it. The uh, stop loss that we designed is approximately $20 away, 22 to be honest, but never mind. Okay, and the exposure that we are experiencing is, let's do it together. Okay, first, let's do it together. So we have 10,000 in balance, minus 1,000 potential loss, which is leaving us with 9,000 in balance. Okay, or maybe 9,000 uh, potentially in the account, which, is, which means 10% exposure. Now, how do you find... 10% exposure, guys. Is it something you would recommend your friend? Is it something you would personally use? 10% exposure. What do you think? 10% means that 10% of the account, if God forbid things go sideways, you're going to wipe out 10%. Lionel, you're saying it's too steep for me. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Dave, no way in hell. Dave, okay. No problem. Lionel, five to six. Good for me. Okay, makes sense. Adam, I wouldn't go for two more than two. Okay, sure. More people, guys. What do you think about 10%? Is it isn't it isn't it uh, low? Look, I'm still going to be left with nine thousand dollars, right? So I can still maneuver with it. Camilla, is this the only position you're trading? Ooh, nice one, Camilla. Very good, very good, very good. I like that. So Camilla, you're asking, is this the only position that I'm taking? So if this is the only position that I'm taking, so that that makes it that makes it okay, or still high? Can't risk more than one percent. Okay, Lifati, fair ten percent. Oof, the think you're encouraging ten percent. You're the only person who believes in that. Congratulations. Okay, but it seems like ten percent is not really a common percentage to use, okay? Sometimes it is for some individuals, but Camille here asked a very important question. Let me ask you something else. So do you find 10% exposure uh, uh, valid? Okay, what if I have more than, a, uh, more than a position? Let's suppose I have 10%, but I have two positions like this. Is it still okay, 10%? No, because my 10% just became 20, right? And if I have three positions like this with the same ratios, 
that means that I am in 30%, right? And so on and so on. Now keep in mind that when you are scheduling for a certain percentage, you must acknowledge how many positions you're going to take in your strategy. Because if you're planning to hedge or you're planning to, um, to diverse, as an example, and you predetermine that you're going to take additional, I don't know how many positions, you should think about the exposure for the positions and an exposure for the, for the whole account. Because you might end up having several positions open and it's uh, much more challenging to manage. Now, who knows how I can turn, how can I uh, reduce, reduce my 10% to let's say five. This is an example, right? Who can know, who knows how, how to reduce the 10% to 5% in a flinch? I can show you an exercise now. Ooh, that's perfect. Lionel, I would clap. Very good, very good. Somebody else? But you were right, by the way. Amazing. Moinin, very good. Who else? Good job, Albert. Very good. It seems like some of my audience already participated in my webinars which brings a smile. Leverage, no, Paul, unfortunately, that's not the answer. Lafari, taking various bets, mm, no, 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 no. Unfortunately, no, but, but, well done. And reduce the amount. Okay, that maybe deserves also a well done. Never mind, never mind. Okay. All right. So that means that if I'm going to cut the 50 to 25, so look what happens. Something, something doesn't add up. Just a second. Okay, there we go. Makes much more sense. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I moved it much higher than it was. It was 9.45. I didn't understand why the number is so big. 9.45, there we go. Right, so my profit ratio is decreased from 1,000 to 500, but my uh, risk money management uh, is, is much lower than before. Right, exactly, Avi, smaller lot. Okay, now the last thing that I'm gonna make sure is about the budget, okay? Now, how can I know how much I'm actually using out of my account, out of my 10,000? Is it really cost 23,000 to have a position with Platinum like that or less? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the value, the leverage, and the margin impact. And I'm going to see here how it works. So I, I have price per unit multiply units equals um, 922.6 multiply, sorry, multiply 25 equals 23,000, right? Okay, yeah, and we have the leverage here. What is the leverage? One to 10. I'm just I'm just copying what is here. I don't even do any calculations, okay? I'm just gonna show you what is here. Uh, margin impact is 2307, right? Or 06, Never mind. 07. Okay, so, what exactly is happening here, Danny? Why did you write down all those things? Can you explain? Of course I will. Of course I will. So the value is actually the outcome of uh, how many units versus what price. So for instance, I'm gonna buy just one unit. How much does that cost? How much? 922, you see, 922. So if I divide it by the leverage, the leverage actually multiplies my financial ability. So that means that I have higher buying or selling power. Um, 
Now, if I, instead of one, if I put 10, what happens? Everything multiplies by 10. Now, instead of 922, I have 9,227. Now, if I divide the same number by 10, I get to 922. Okay, if it would have been like that, this is exactly what we wrote down. So this is the outcome of how many positions versus what cost per position, okay? As we saw with the exercise a minute ago, and then we have the leverage here. Because the leverage multiplies me, I can divide it number by the leverage, and then I'll know what is the actual usage. In other words, the position that we had just five minutes ago, you see this position, the original size, uh, I'm limited. You see how many positions can I take if this costs four and a half? Let's do the math here. Right? Again, I do those things in my head. Oh, sorry. Should have been like that, I believe. Right? So that means that the third positions, the third position will not be available. I'm not I'm not gonna have enough margin unless I have made more profits. Okay, so the balance is something that's not gonna change unless you're gonna close the position. The free margin is something that is available for you to use. The used margin is exactly as it's written here, the margin impact, so it will be used. If I tell the position, so it will be used as a margin, and the equity is the outcome of what I, uh, the outcome of all of my positions. So, for instance, if this position would have made a hundred, uh, and it kept, kept open, my equity will grow a hundred, but not my balance. Okay, unless I close the position. Guys, this is as far as we can go for today. It seems like, unfortunately, our time is up, so we must uh, call it a day. And uh, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed. I appreciate people here who helped me with the uh, wonderful answers and questions. And that's it. I wish you all best of luck. Make a lot of money. And uh, have a good rest of the week.